Hi, this is Roger from AirTanksPlus.com. This fine Saturday, Gene are out here playing in the wind. We decided to do some shooting. And it's nice. We thank you guys because when you order from us, you're supporting us. And it helps us do stuff like this. And we love air guns. And we're very fortunate that we get to play with them. Um, anyway, I wanted to show you what uh, a regulated gun setup is and some of the advantages of it. So in this case, if you look at Genie shooting a modified, this is a modified, uh, heavily modified condor. I guess you couldn't even call it a condor anymore after you cut the top off of it, <laughs> reinforced it. Put a pick right Okay, on so it. it's no longer a modified condor. You got our, the stick stock you made. You beefed it up, made a little quiet device and another little top secret thing. Made your little... I call it a pogo stick. Pogo stick in the back. Anyway, so this application, if you're shooting long range and you were shooting a gun like this, typically these aren't regulated, the condors. So what happens is you have a, a bell curve in your shot string. I can mention, you can Google that. Um, but what happens is the pressure inside the tank puts more back pressure on the valve. It doesn't open as much when you first start shooting it. And then as the pressure goes down in the tank, it starts, uh, your velocity goes up a little bit. And then, because um, there's less pressure on the valve when the hammer hits it. So you get something called a bell curve. But if you want to be real accurate for long range, you want to shoot regulated. So in this case, we have our Regman product. So we're using the stick boy to come off the tank. And that's a 4,500 PSI tank. And you can see the pressure. It's got about 3,800 PSI left there. And then we come off there with our three-foot hose, which is more than adequate to go to a gun if you, were, um, you wanted to shoot the gun, then crack the valve and fill the gun up again. But in this case, we're going to the Regman. And so the reg is in here, and you can see the pressure inside the tank is, again, right at 38, just like it says on the stick boy. And then it's regulated right now. We're regulating this out at about 25, 2,600, uh -huh. right in there, 2,550 maybe. And so it comes out of there. I'll go around. You can see it's coming in, coming into the back of the gun. So this regulated setup is really nice, and it's not a fixed regulator, so you can play with it. You know, have different settings set up for different guns. Like this one's labeled for me. That's for my gun. And uh, so I use that one, and Gene's got his own. But you can see you can change the pressure just by, hear that? Uh, it's self-venting. Now, we don't recommend setting your pressure uh, according to what you bottomed out at as you turn it down. What you want to do is come down below your set point and then bring it back up. So I'm going to go up from just above 2200 PSI and I'm going to bring it up to 24. You start seeing the needle climb, we'll stop right there. Okay? So it's pretty cool. Why don't you take a couple shots for him and I'll show, All right. show what happens when you shoot. So every time he's shooting, every time he shoots, you know, the gun uses up air so the air has to rush back in so you'll see the needle kind of drop. And um, I can get to focus here, right there, there, there we go. Anyway, so he fires, the pressure's used up and the regular puts the pressure back in the gun. So it's very consistent shot to shot. And uh, that's how we use the Regman. So if you're shooting long range or you're shooting a big bore air gun like a 308 um, Texan or a 45 Texan or the 257 Texan, and you really want to dial in for long range shooting, you don't want to shoot a couple times and have to refill it. You know, you want to just tether up. This is regulated tether actually, so we're tethered, and so we have a constant air supply going into the gun, so we don't have to stop to refill it. And we get the shot to shot consistency that lets Gene reach out. You know, we're playing with this gun, but you can't see. This camera's not gonna zoom out that far, I can try. Well, you can go to the tree line, it's right about 200 yards. Yeah, the tree line's right about 200. We have some targets out there from 50, 100, 175, and 200. So there's a diamond out there, a little knockdown time at 175 yards. And uh, we've been whacking that. We've got a little wind, we're not hitting it every time, but we're, we're right in there with this gun, so. Anyway, if you have questions, on um, air guns, PCP air guns, that's our specialty. We make this stuff. This is not something, you know, this is not something we buy. We actually have this made in Rancho Cordova. We have it machined up and then we assemble it. So that's it. Hope you like it. If you have any questions, give us a call. 916-800-1398 or visit us online at airtanksplus.com. Thank you. <laughs>